In Tehran, a city of 15 million, desperation fills the air as citizens gather to pray for rain, for six years drought has tightened its grip, and the fear of taps running dry is now a daily reality. President Pazeshkian warns of imminent water rationing and even the unthinkable, evacuating the capital. The term day zero is no longer distant, it's whispered in every street, water pressure drops, taps fail, and the city's great dams are nearly empty. Latyan and Amir Kabir hold less than 10% of their capacity. Emergency holidays were declared to reduce the city's water strain, a tacit admission that Tehran's infrastructure is buckling. These are stopgaps for a crisis decades in the making. The government's measures are desperate, but the city's lifeblood is vanishing. Tehran stands on the edge, hoping for rain, but knowing hope alone won't save it. The crisis is now, and the city's future hangs in the balance. Tehran's crisis is only the beginning. Across Iran, drought is rewriting the nation's fate. In Mashhad, reservoirs are at just 3%, and the city teeters on collapse. Isfahan's iconic Zayande Rud River is now a barren scar, its bridges spanning only dust. 10% of Iran's dams are effectively dry, once symbols of progress, now monuments to miscalculation. Satellite images reveal shrinking shorelines at major dams like Sefadrud and Ardak. Rural communities suffer as wells run dry, and fields turn to dust, unraveling generations-old ways of life. Farmers watch their livelihoods vanish, and villages face abandonment. This is a national water bankruptcy. Demand has permanently outstripped supply. The crisis touches everyone, from city dwellers to remote farmers. Iran's water emergency is a slow-motion disaster, reshaping the land and its people. The fate of Iran's Great Lakes tells the story best. Lake Urmia, once a vast saltwater jewel, is now a toxic salty desert, its ecosystem nearly erased by drought and overuse. Winds whip up poisonous dust storms, threatening millions and poisoning farmland. Across Iran, rivers that once nourished valleys are now dry or reduced to trickles. The mountain snowpack, once a reliable source, has shrunk, and rare rains bring only flash floods, not relief. Groundwater reserves, overdrawn for decades, are collapsing, like a bank account emptied with no hope of refill. Experts warn the damage may be irreversible. Aquifers, once drained, may never recover. Iran is not just spending its water income, it's liquidating its ancient, non-renewable capital. The country's lifelines are vanishing, and the consequences are profound. Iran's water crisis is not just nature's doing, it's a man-made disaster. Decades of mismanagement, corruption, and a relentless push for food self-sufficiency have drained rivers and aquifers. Agriculture consumes 90% of Iran's water, much of it wasted on thirsty crops in arid regions. Leaky infrastructure loses a third of treated water before it reaches homes. Little is recycled, wastewater is discarded instead of reused. Climate change has turned chronic mismanagement into an existential crisis, with soaring temperatures and relentless evaporation. The system is past its breaking point, nature and policy have collided. Iran's water emergency is the result of choices, not just chance. The crisis is personal. Families in Tehran and beyond fear day zero, unsure how they'll cook, clean or survive. Anxiety and mistrust grow as government messaging falters, fueling conspiracy theories and public frustration. The environmental cost is devastating. Lake Urmaya's collapse is echoed across the country as rivers dry and wetlands vanish. Species disappear, migratory birds lose their stops, and the land grows more fragile. Overpumped aquifers may never recover, and lost ecosystems may be gone for good. Even a return of rain won't restore what's been lost. The damage is generational, ecological thresholds are being crossed. Iran faces a legacy of environmental degradation that may never be undone. The crisis is both human and ecological, reshaping the nation's future. There are no easy fixes. Cloud seeding and prayers can't reverse decades of overuse. Iran must fundamentally rethink its relationship with water. Experts call for diversifying the economy away from water-intensive agriculture and growing less thirsty crops. This shift will be painful, risking rural unemployment and challenging national policy. Massive investment in infrastructure is essential, modernizing pipes, embracing water recycling, and considering desalination. Transparent, science-based water management must replace short-term political decisions. Climate change must be at the heart of all planning. The crisis is a harsh lesson in the cost of ignoring environmental limits. 
Iran faces a stark choice, reform or endure ever worsening scarcity. The time for transformation is now, before the last drops run out.